Now let's put the frosting on the cake. The curb and rail has been especially designed for safety. The concrete curb and parapet was constructed by using these custom built steel forms. Line and grade was closely controlled. The steel forms produced a smooth surface that when carefully finished, resulted in a uniform texture of pleasing appearance. The metal safety railing mounted on top puts the decoration on the frosting. These views, taken only five months after the first aerials, illustrate the tremendous progress that was made in constructing the viaduct. The structure had grown at the rate of one normal, three span, four lanes wide undercrossing every third working day. Compare this to the usual normal construction time of about six months for a similar unit on an ordinary job. On the last two contracts, this remarkable progress was achieved by contractors Grove, Shepard, Wilson, and Krug with a single shift, five days per week operation. This was accomplished by carefully detailed planning and strict adherence to a schedule of operations set up far in advance of actual prosecution of the work. It was an exceptionally well-coordinated program of construction. Three major working fronts at widely spaced intervals along the two-mile length were involved. It is well worth remembering that the goals were achieved with minimum inconvenience or delay to the heavy flow of confining adjacent traffic. Final preparations have been made for the opening ceremony and celebration. The roadway has been swept and washed, traffic stripes painted, and directional signs installed. All is in readiness. We shall take advantage of the lull and preview California's first completed double-decked viaduct. A ride on a portion of the northbound lower deck results in a definite sense of security. There is no opposing traffic to distract the driver or passengers. Because of the openness, there is no feeling of confinement. A return trip on portions of the southbound upper deck results in the same sense of safety. There is a feeling of detachment from the busy and hazardous city streets below. We are far enough above ground level and most buildings to be able to enjoy and appreciate the broad vistas surrounding the beautiful San Francisco Bay Area. Our cameraman was apparently more intent on showing the structure than in viewing the skyline of downtown Oakland to the left or the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge and San Francisco to the right. We conclude our preview at the south end where the viaduct curves and spreads to become parallel roadways. The great day arrived on June 11, 1957, with appropriate pomp and ceremony, attended by notables too numerous to mention, the Cypress Street Viaduct was open to traffic. Let us again return to the air and look at our accomplishments, the culmination of engineering planning and ingenuity. At last, another stranglehold by traffic is eliminated, returning the ground level streets in this area to their normal function of serving the local needs of commerce, industry, and homes in West Oakland. The Cypress Street Viaduct represents some impressive statistics. For instance, there are nearly two miles of double-deck viaduct providing for four lanes in each direction. 
three contracts were required for construction. One completed from 1955 funds for $1,700,000, one from 1956 funds for $6 million, and one from 1957 funds for $2,300,000. Total construction cost of the entire project, $10 million. Construction cost of the structure, eight and one half million dollars. 5,800 piles required. Over 160,000 lineal feet of piling. 379 footings constructed. 547 columns. One and one quarter million square feet of deck. Over 28 acres. Over 95,000 cubic yards of structure concrete. 29 million pounds of bar reinforcing steel. Approximately eight miles of railing. Views from the ground are no less impressive as evidenced by this pedestrian view of a graceful structure providing an off-ramp from the top deck and a study in light and shadow typical of the completed structure. So the sun is setting on another monument to the Division of Highways' relentless drive to provide safety, convenience, and lasting benefits for California's motorists' challenge in their leadership of building the nation's finest highway system.